What's up everyone, welcome back. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel where we talk about all things volleyball. All right guys, quick update from here in Poland. We have had a lot of matches, a lot of games since my last video, so I don't even know what's happened. But as you can see to my right, we are currently in the Plus Liga playoffs. This was an eight team playoff, quarterfinals, semifinals, and finals, all best of five series. And as you can see, Rosovia won their matchup three to zero. We won our matchup three matches to one against Projekt Warszawa, just in an insane series. Yastrzembia has won their series three to zero. And in the last quarterfinal matchup, Zawierce and Olsztyn are playing in the fifth match of the series, actually two day to see who advances to the semifinals. And as you can see, we are playing against Aseko Rosovia, the number one seed in the Plus Liga in the semifinals, and Yastrzembia will play against either Zawierce or Olsztyn. So the semifinals coming up, like I said, best of five, wish us luck. All right, and now for the CEV Champions League, we're actually gonna be watching the second match of the CEV Champions League semifinals between Zaxa, our team, and Perugia, the Italian team that we played in the semifinals. I can't even remember the last time I made a video or if I updated you guys on the first match that we played against them, but we were able to win that matchup at home here in Poland, three sets to one. So then we traveled to Perugia, and like you guys maybe know, all we had to do was win two sets to advance to the finals, and that is because we won three points at home. So if we won two sets, that means we took one point off Perugia there in Italy, and we would advance to the finals. So I think a lot of you guys know what happened, but we're gonna be taking a look at the ends of the first two sets to see how we did and to see if we advanced to the finals. Let's do it. All right, first set, we are up 18 to 17. Flavio from Perugia serving. Good flow, nice hand pass by Oluk there. Out to Bednarz. Just a beautiful standard side out to start this video. Great pass, great set. Great spike, high off the hands, and we're up 19 to 17. David serving, 19 to 17. Good fight. Tip, go. Nice, safe, good set. And the smash. So this is a great pass by Semenyuk here, who actually played for us last year. Kind of a crazy matchup for us to be playing against him in the semifinals. Fights it off. Leon tips it, Dima Pashitsky gets it up, David with the set, middles, learn how to bump set, learn how to set, everyone learn how to set, it's super important. And then Bednarz, you can see actually, number eight here, the opposite for Perugia, drops his hands, because he thought he was gonna go high hands here, which is not a, honestly, a pretty smart move, but maybe Benji saw this and slams it pretty much straight down. We are now up 2017. So what was interesting about this matchup is that we really wanted to come out quick on Perugia because we know that there was more pressure on them to have to win three sets to zero or three sets to one. So we really wanted to take that first set to put even more pressure on them. And we are up 2017, which is a great spot to be in. David again, going with the float, changing it up. Pipe to Semenyuk. Oh, look at this angle. First of all, great pass by Leon here, hand pass. Slow-mo, just so strong, wrist away. David comes in thinking he might go to the middle, but Semenyuk loves that shot to the line and just basically impossible to dig for anyone. All right, Herrera in here to serve, 18-20, lefty jump serve, so strong. He goes in the net. I remember breathing a sigh of relief there just because if he gets going, he can get super hot with that lefty serve and it is so hard to pass, but luckily for us, he missed it. All right, Lukash serving, 21-18. Where does he put this? Does he put it in? Puts it in, gets them out of system. High ball, Leon. What? <laughs> that is one of the nastiest swings I've ever seen. So we get him out of system. Libero puts up a pretty good ball here, just a little bit off the net. We talk about tight and inside, but it's Leon, so he can put away anything. Just over the block, maybe to the right of our ha of Janusz's hands, into the corner. This was a perfect shot. Bravo to them. Oh, and now Leon serving. 1921, one of the strongest, best, powerful servers in the world, and 
I'll take it. You can see that we went four man reception here because we were just trying to cover the court, trying to get the ball up. I'm, I'm still breathing a sigh of relief here. Benji serving, Ben Norge, 22-19. Nice serve, out of system again, high ball. Blocked, cover, nice recycle by them. Oh, he missed it just by a little bit. So what makes this rally is this cover. We get them out of system, they recycle the ball, such a smart play, and then Herrera just uses the left side of Oleg, great spike there, not much we can do. Great play by Perugia there to stay in this set. All right, another serving sub here. Lefty, strong serve, off the tape, Plotinski, am I saying that right? His serve is also just so gnarly. Anytime you can have a strong lefty serve with that lefty hook, it's gonna be a good serve. And then to get it off the tape like that, that's just lucky. Unfortunate for us, that's for sure. All right, serving again out of the timeout, 21-22. We're just trying to take this first set. What is he gonna do? Does he put it, I can't even remember. Does he put this in? Off the tape, good pass. Nice up there by Kolachi. Semenyuk, nice up by Oleg. Transition. Monster block. So that play was all about defense for them. They, we get a perfect pass here, look, on the money. Kolachi gets this dig, high ball. Tips it, making us work. We're a little bit out of sorts here. They get a perfect double block there. Look at that block. Straight down. Ah! 22 all. Ow. Out, we'll take it, okay. Dima serving, we're up 23-22. I don't actually remember what happens here. Perfect pass. Transition! Oh, we don't have a setter and David's setting. No way so we get look at this pass first of all just so steady arms out angle boom shoulders over everything we want in a pass and then david gets a beautiful touch here we have transition but we made us a, a blocking sub here kluth went in for janus so we don't have a primary setter in so david has to set a high ball they get three blocks up and then the ball goes exactly where we're not we actually had good coverage there but that nobody covers over there so, ugh, that is so frustrating and deflating. Gianelli, 23-23. Perfect, perfect pass. Ben Norsch on the pipe. Great side out, just beautiful. All right, out of the timeout, we're up 24-23. Set point number one. Elvis, where's he gonna go? He goes short. We get him out of system. Out to Semenyuk. Transition, come on, Eric. I remember this ball was just a little bit tight, but it was okay. Out to Herrera. Monster block! That was such a huge side out. Very non-traditional. Let's just watch this again. So beautiful block here, great touch. Elvis to me, I set it just a little bit tight, but it's okay. Then right here. So because they have a lefty on the left, it can almost cause a little bit of problems when that happens. It's called rotation one because it is a little bit more uncomfortable for lefties to hit on the left. So, I don't think Gianelli thought that Semenuk was ready on the right side. I'm not exactly sure what goes through his brain. I don't know what happened. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that goes on in setters' minds. But he sets out to Herrera. We got a double block up here. Close that seam, David Smith with the block. And we win the first set, 25-23. All right, so we're in the second set here. We're at 15 to 13, Leon serving. You can see all of us just like, nice serve. That, probably around 76, 77 miles an hour, straight down the line, not much we can do there. But in this set, we were down 10 to six. I believe David Smith was serving, brought us all the way back, we were winning. Obviously we were winning 15, 13. Leon serving, it's just so dangerous because he can just rip balls and score points. So we're just trying to get out of this rotation. You can see how happy we were. <laughs> to get that side out, even on a miss, it doesn't matter at that point. And we are up 16 to 14. All right, Dima serving. Woo! What a serve cross court. Out of system, high ball, Platinsky. I think I'm saying that wrong. What? Do we get this up? Woo! 
I forgot about that point. Okay, okay, okay. We're watching this again. So Dima just puts a great serve here cross court. We really wanted to make Leon work in this match. Recycle. And then right here, Elvis drops. I don't know. But Dima gets this sick dig like that. And then transition here, Leon. Nobody stops Leon pipes. Nobody. And David just gets this block, stays with it. You can see Wukash here, number two, is literally defending himself. And we get, look how excited we are. Look at these celebrations. That is absolutely insane. And actually a really big point to go up 17 to 14. Dima again, 17, 14. Changes it up a little bit. High ball, Herrera. I think that was a touch. Yeah, so it was a touch. So we're now up 17 to 15, but that's just such a dangerous part of Perugia is that even though they were out of system, they have these hitters that can just rocket the ball off the block, down the line. We saw Leon go down the line earlier, and that's why it's so dangerous to play them. So we just tried to be steady and side out when we could. 15, 17, Rousseau serving. Good pass, three meter line. That is such a great side out. So like I say a lot about reception, it doesn't always have to be perfect, perfect. Even if it was on three meters, two and a half meters, we were sa still able to run a pipe, a quick attack there and get the side out. So if there is a bomb that comes over the net, don't be afraid to put it on three meters, two and a half, even anywhere in the center of the court, depending on what kind of serve it is. Cause you can still run your offense like we did just there. Elvis, 18, 15, making lay on work. A little bit, three meters. That one was out. Woo! 19 to 15. Elvis with his little tricky serve. Ah! We were all over that dump. I remember us calling dump. You can see Oleg is blocking there. Sveju number two is coming off. Elvis is going in to try and get this dump. But it's just Gianelli dumping is so effective. It is hard to stop. And now Gianelli serving. 16 to 19. I think I remember this pass. I think it goes to my left. Yep. Okay, I pulled us off a little bit and did not cover. Oh, not my best play. Okay, it was a good serve. Let's see. Pause, slow-mo. So you can see my angle is just a little bit high. I don't know how to describe this. It's a little bit high. I wish I had dropped my right shoulder a little bit and that maybe would have put it more in the middle of the court, but it caused it to go to the right a little bit. Well, it gets blocked. Am I ready? I'm actually sort of ready, but it was a good block. We don't cover it. Ah! The real point for Perugia. I don't have much to say about that. I want to change my angle. Out of the timeout, Ginelli serving again. What's the score now? Oh, now it's 17 19? I don't know. Great pass, Oleg. Out to him again. Recycle, pokey. <laughs> Recycle again. Weird tip. Out to Plotinski. I'm silent, I, I, I forgot because I'm just, this block is insane. Pause, look at that, perfect lineup by Oleg and David. David gets his left hand over, you can see me and Lukash here trying to play defense cross court because he likes that cross court shot. But, but we don't need that defense because the block, the left hand is over. Look at our celebration, that's just, I don't know, these points were insane. And now we're up 20 to 17. Oleg again. He went for it, but just went out. It's okay. 1820. Okay, I'll take this pass. Okay, that was a little bit lucky. But with this kind of pace and this kind of curve, I just wanted to pop this up to the middle of the court. And that's what I did. So I'm not mad about that one. And then Benji just sneaks this under the block cross court and gets that kill. I think this was the moment where I felt very confident that we were gonna win because we got that serve up. I was just happy I got it up in the court and then Benji put that, hit the tape and Leon's arm like right here and went in. Things were going in our favor and I just felt very relieved to get out of that rotation. David serving 21-18, serving so well this game. Like I said, he brought us back in this set. Leon, great touch, great defense. Cover, high hands, 
and Perugia hit the net. So even if they hadn't, we had that recyclable. But if a point's gonna end on a net, we're gonna take it. But overall, just a great block touch, great defense. We're getting closer. 22-18. David just putting it in. Overpass, and Dima puts it away. So even though this wasn't David's hardest serve, I don't think, I even told him that, and he was like, yeah. We made Leon work a lot in this match, and I think maybe he got a little bit tired. Who knows, he's one of the best players. He can do basically whatever he wants out there. But we get this overpass, and Dima just puts it away. We'll take it. Okay, 23-18, we're getting even closer to winning in the second set, which means that we advance to the finals. Changes it up. Out to Herrera. Great defense. Look at this positioning. Boom. So we have two blockers up. Janusz and Kaczmarek are playing perfectly outside of the block. Great positioning. Even Oleg here is high in the seam. We get this dig. Nice. Oleg sets. What? That is the most insane. First of all, great set high inside, tight. And Benji just goes inside that block and gets the point. We're at match point. 24-18. Match point number one, not match point, set point to go to the finals. Block and down. And you can see how crazy we celebrate here. Hold on. Let's watch this point again. So David serves again. A little bit out of system. Semenyuk. Dima gets the block and it goes down. And although we don't win the match at this point, we won two sets, which means that we advanced to the CEV Champions League final. We are going crazy. What a first two sets. Woo! We did it! So like I said before, all we needed to do to advance to the Champions League final was win those first two sets. Two sets at all throughout the match. And like you guys saw, we did it. We were able to take the first two sets, which means that we are now in the CEV Champions League final. But, like you guys may know, you play the rest of this match out. Honestly, I think it's the worst part about volleyball and competition sometimes is that you have to play the rest of this game out. But, we made complete change in our lineup. The other seven guys went in to the match and actually won the match three sets to one, which was honestly just so awesome to watch them play and compete and to win. So we ended up winning the match three sets to one. We won the two sets and we advanced to the CEV Champions League final. I really don't have much to say about that match. I think we just had such a great team effort. We played together, we followed the scouting report, and we really just did everything we wanted to do out there to wear down Perugia and to get those two sets. It was not easy. They're such a great team, but we played together, we played hard, and honestly, we played some really, really good volleyball. So I'm so proud of us for that game, for this Champions League. And we will be playing in the CEV Champions League final in Torino, Italy on May 20th. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned a little bit. I know that I did. CEV Champions League final, like I said, May 20th. Put it on your calendar. But we are also starting the Plus Liga semifinals against Rosovia this weekend. So wish us luck. But as usual, get out, have a great day, play some volleyball if you can, have some fun, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.